hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is blessing and i'm the creative director of these stitches designs so in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful booboo -boo gown that has a front slit built up neckline and also inside pockets so guys if you are new to this channel thank you very much for coming by please click on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell and if you're also a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back guys i really appreciate this so let's get right into this tutorial so first of all you're going to fold your fabric into four you're folding into four because we want to cut the back and the front piece together so you fold into four and you're going to get your length can you see it's into four can you see i'm showing you it's into four so next is to um get your length after which you get your neck width so i'm using 3.5 inches for the width and 1.5 for the depth remember this is the back piece we are going to make the back piece first of all so next you're going to divide your shoulder by two and you're going to place shoulder divided by two and you're going to place shoulder divided by two you're going to place from your center and then you're going to get your armhole depth so this customer is 40 inches for the bust point so i'm using nine inches for the armhole depth and i'm coming down by one inch on the shoulder line and slant my shoulder so next i'm going to mark out my shoulder to waist and my shoulder to, and the waist to hip can you see you're going to measure the person's shoulder to waist and then waist to hip when i have these lines ready next is to put my round measurements so next i'm going to be putting my bust measurement divided by four you're going to place it on that armhole line your bust measurement divided by four you place on that armhole line and i added four inches allowance now this point is allowance i'm going to sew with one and a half inches do you understand so next i'm going to be adding my round waist measurement divided by four and i'm going to be placing it on that shoulder to waistline and i'm also going to be adding four inches measurement so next is the hip hip divided by four hip divided by four and i'm also going to place on that hip line and add four inches measurement so mind you guys i'm adding four inches allowance but i'm going to be sewing with one and a half inches allowance because i want it to be really big but i don't want it to be too big that's why i added uh, four inches so you are going to draw it down straight down straight down and then you are going to create your armhole curve you're going to create your armhole curve so next is to cut out cut out cut out can you see can you see i'm cutting out so you're going to mark the back of the fabric and then you're going to remove one remember we folded into four so that we can get the front and back piece and we cut the neck with the neck of the back piece so you're going to remove one which is which will serve as the back piece and then this front piece you're going to slant from the shoulder and then down to the dress coming out by 1.5 inches can you see what i'm doing from the shoulder you slant you slant to the down part coming out by 1.5 inches and then you cut out this is going to make space for that your band that will create the built up neckline this is going to make space for it can you see so we are done cutting the body of the dress so next we are going to cut the sleeve so this is going to be a very simple sleeve it's not a, a fitted sleeve it's going to be a a very free sleeve so next first you're going to get your sleeve length and then you are going to come down by 
four and a half inches and then you're going to place your round sleeve divided by two on that four and a half inches line and add your allowance i added two inches allowance you create your armhole cover and you come down straight very simple for your sleeve can you see very simple also mark the back can you see mark the back so guys you are going to cut a band as long as possible so this band i i use three inches for the width of this band and then the length is supposed to be as long as possible or you can wait after joining your kimono you measure from the down part of the right all the way around across the neck to the down part of your left and also you're going to cut another band for your sleeve can you see so i use three inches for the width so right into sewing right into sewing so this is the back piece can you see this is the neck of the back this is the back can you see i'm trying to make sure this is the right side of the so you are going to get your front piece your front pieces remember your front piece will be two so you're going to get your front piece get your front piece and you're going to join the shoulder can you see you join the shoulder shoulder or, or you join the shoulder of your front piece to your back piece you join the shoulder of your front piece to your back piece Please guys don't forget to hit on that subscribe button also turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever we make a new post so you're going to join the shoulder can you see join your shoulder shoulder of the front to the back join the shoulder of the front to the back and next i'm folding the down part i'm folding the down part you fold the down part you can also wait when you're done sewing you can also fold after you're done sewing and whichever way it works so you fold the down part Fold the down part. Fold the down part. So next. So next we are going to we are going to mark out where our um, cape is going to end and um, that um, band that we are going to use for built up for the built up um, neckline we are going to mark where it's going to end starting from the shoulder can you see that joining on the shoulder so I marked out seven and a half inches from the shoulder from the shoulder where it depends on how exposed you want your bust to be if you don't want your bust to be exposed seven and a half eight inches is okay they are going to measure from that place you marked out round to the back of your neck remember i folded this while measuring so from that place you measured um that place that is going to um the 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 band is going to start opening i don't know if you understand i'm trying to explain it in such a way that we we'll understand but you see it as we are going so from that place to the back the center of the back of the neck we are going to measure so you're going to get your band 
and you're going to fold it into two equal halves you're going to fold it into two equal halves and then from you're going to notch the center of the folding can you see what i'm doing i just hope i'm not confusing you guys but i hope you're understanding so you're going to fold it you are going to get um the center and you're going to notch the center of that your band can you see and you're going to notch it so you're going to open it up can you see what i'm doing you open it up you open it up and then you are going to measure you're going to measure you're going to measure for that measurement we we tried getting from the center of from the front piece to the back of the neck you are going to place it on this band make sure you open up your band remember we measured 12 12 and a half so you mark it out can you see and i'm i'm going to secure this with a pin i'm going to secure this with a pin secure with a pin can you see so i'm going to measure um the front part of this gown of this booboo -boo gown i'm going to measure where i would like my slit to start from can you see do you understand where i would like my slit to start from i'm going to start from that place i marked out where my um um the band will start closing up from that place down to where i want my slit to start from from that place down to where i want my slit to start from can you see I measure 28 inches 28 inches so i'm going to get that my band and i'm going to start from that my 12 inches i already i had already marked out 12 and a half inches sorry i'm going to measure and get 28 inches 28 inches and i'm going to mark it out then i'm going to close it up from that 12 and a half inches down to the 28 inches can you see from the 12 and a half inches down to the 28 inches you are going to sew at the center you're going to sew at the center can you see at the center all the way down to your 28 inches now this depends on the person that is wearing the gown whether they want their slit to come up more or whether they want their slit to go down more it all depends on the person that is wearing the gown so you sew all the way to your 28 inches Can you see and this is it guys stitch can you see so you're going to take this to the machine to uh, to the uh, uh, ironing table to iron you're going to iron this can you see i've closed it up and can you see the way it is looking this is already can you see this is already looking very beautiful so this part is the neck part this part is the neck part can you see it is the neck part very beautiful that is the part i notched all the way down can you see so next is to join um to your dress you're going to notch the center of the neck of the back center of the back neck you're going to notch the center of the back neck You're going to place your notched band, the center of the band that you notched, 
on that center you notched for the back neck of the fab of the dress and you are going to sew so from the center down to one side and from the center down to the other side can you see can you see all the way all the way down our dress is coming together is already looking beautiful please guys don't forget to hit on that subscribe button just take a moment to hit on that subscribe button also turn on your notification bell please you can also drop your comments and your questions via the comment section please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share to your friends and family so i'm done with one side i start from the center again to the other side that is to the other end of the front piece can you see can you see and this is what it looks like can you see very neat this is what it looks like very beautiful can you see so next um, is the sleeve the sleeve so I'm going to sew the band to the sleeve sew your band to the sleeve also do the same for the other sleeve can you see can you see so i forgot to cut the pocket when i was cutting so i'm doing so now i normally cut my pocket i just place my hand and carve out a pocket that is round i don't like square pocket so i carve out a pocket that is round i don't have any measurement just make it to be as wide as possible not so wide but very okay so you're going to notch the center of your of your sleeve you're going to fold your sleeve and notch the center and then you're going to start from the center of the shoulder that the shoulder of your dress to join you're going to place your notched area on the shoulder and you're going to sew to one end of the sleeve and when you're done sewing to one end of the sleeve you're going to come back and sew again to the other end of the sleeve Can you see? So, we are done with this sleeve. So, we are going to close our sleeve. Our sleeve is supposed to be big. So, we are going to close with one inch. We are going to close with one inch. And then, from your shoulder, you are going to measure... 16 inches depends on the person you're sewing for but a normal person 16 inches is okay you're going to measure from your shoulder to 16 inches and then you are going to fix your pocket you're going to fix your pocket you're going to get one of the pockets you know there are two so you're going to place one if you get one pair one pair is for one side and one pair is for the, is for the other side so you, you are going to get one from one of the pairs and you are going to place it like so can you see the way i placed it yes. you're going to place it like so can you see the way i placed it and then you are going to sew can you see you are going to sew
then you're going to flip your dress over so that this other side this other um, side of the dress will be down can you see flip it over and then you're also going to place the second pocket place the second pocket place the second pocket and so can you see so you're going to turn back again so that you, so that you continue closing your dress you're going to continue from where you stopped stitch and turn your fabric to face that pocket side can you see then so round across that pocket all the way down round across the pocket all the way down can you see All the way down so all the way down so you're going to repeat this process for the other sleeve you're going to get your sleeve and you're going to notch the center place the center and the center of your shoulder and you're going to sew all the way to one end of the armhole and then flip over to start from the center again center of the shoulder again to sew all the way to the other end of the armhole Can you see? After which you are going to close you are going to close your sleeve. Remember we use one inch to close because we want our sleeve to be really big. So you are going to close. You are going to sew all the way. And when you get to this um, area you're going to pause so you measure out where you're going to stop so you can fix your pocket so remember from the shoulder you get your 16 inches and you are going to sew the way to the 16 inches and stop then you fix your pocket you fix your pocket Please guys don't forget to hit on that subscribe button also turn on your notification bell and if you have any questions please don't forget to drop there the comment section also drop your views your thoughts if I'm doing it right please drop on the comment section thank you please also give me a thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and your family so we are still um, so in the pocket after which we come we turn again to continue from where we stopped you stitch and you you pause to face your machine towards the pocket and then so all the way around the pocket down can you see And then downwards down and this is it guys our booboo gown is ready can you see that neck can you see that neck this is very beautiful and very easy to make 
please let me know in the comment section if you're going to make this and also don't forget to hit on that subscribe button please turn on the notification bell please also check out our previous videos we have so many interesting video or tutorials thank you guys for sticking with us till the end of this video like comment share subscribe bye